And why did I choose real estate? First of all, why not, right? Hi friends, thank you so much for joining me. I so appreciate you. My name is Alyssa Begay, and if you're new here, this is where I talk about real estate, life, and business. Stay tuned because today we're gonna learn a little bit more about me and why I chose to get into real estate. <laughs> Yat er Alyssa Bigay Yinche, Ashi Nishla, Hashkushni Bashish Chain, Tabahash Cheki Ani Deshanale, Akut Ego of Nene Sank Nishne, Mitten Rock Dant Nasha. So I just introduced myself in Dine, which is my native language, also known as Navajo. I said, My name is Alyssa Bigay. I am Salt Clan, born for the Mud Clan. My maternal grandfather is Water's Edge. My paternal grandfather is Towering House. And in that way, I am known, I am a Diné woman. I am a Navajo woman. And that is me. Just kidding, move, the video's not over yet. Now let's answer the question that brought you here. Why real estate? I got into real estate because I saw it as an opportunity, an opportunity to build a legacy. So my grandparents are in a community called Mitten Rock. And in that small community, Blue Horse is known for being a giving, compassionate, loving, hardworking, integrity, very like honest people, a good family. So having learned these values in my childhood and applied them to my life and myself and just becoming the person I am because of the values I learned, I wanted to build that into my business and dedicate my legacy um, to them, to my grandparents. So Blue Horse Realty NM was born. I really wanted to try to create a change within my community. Um, and the only way I could see that happening is if I made that change myself. So Blue Horse Realty NM started as a means to achieve generational wealth. I really wanted to learn as much as I could and teach everybody around me what the steps were so that they could too achieve generational wealth. And with all of us doing it together collectively, in my mind, it felt like the world it itself would change. Where people see difficulty and just door stops, I kind of see it as like, how can I overcome it? It's an opportunity to be better, to get better, and to show people that you can do better. What I see as real estate is it's every day is a challenge. Every day is a challenge to you, yourself as a person. What can I do today to be a better person? or what can I do to add value to other people? So getting into real estate was a little difficult in that I, I didn't see anybody else. I had no friends or family who was in real estate. So creating this momentum by myself without an example was a little difficult, but it was an opportunity to set myself apart and how my business speaks for itself. I did this um, just learning from other people and applying it. So pretty much real estate is learning basic fundamentals, having your personality with relationships built in and merging it into a, a functional living, breathing product, which is Blue Horse Realty, right? So the startup of Blue Horse was great. I've been in real estate now for just under a year. I have got some great transactions. I feel pretty good about the way I run my business because I do it with hard work, integrity, honesty, everything that I wanted Blue Horse to be, I still strive to do. Now let's get into community. Community is what I love. And with real estate, it gives me such a great opportunity to reach out to different groups. I'm not kind of kept in a box because of the agency that I'm working with. I have the freedom to go to every community meeting that I want and see how I can help them or how I can get information to give to others. It's just, again, in the long term, in the big picture, I'm legacy building. I'm building a legacy. And that legacy has a big component of community in it. Because you can't build anything without community. You need a lot of support and that's, my business. Um, one of the groups that I'm in called Jolt Your Journey has four components to it. Work, live, play, and stay. 
So I am part of two of these groups, which is Play and Work. And I went ahead and just asked these groups if they needed some help for their marketing efforts. And they said yes. So now I re have a relationship with them and built community between myself and them, but I'm also turning around and creating a video for them to use for their marketing. Yes, it was work that I did just out of the kindness of my heart, but it's something they needed, right? It's me adding value to them and building our community so that we can be a family-friendly, fun place and people all over New Mexico learn about it. Um, it's, it's important to me to Kind of feel that hometown pride, you know what I mean? And what I love to do is bring those resources out and bring them in front of people and let them know like, hey, I found this cool program. And you just never know how helpful you can be by simply doing that. I try, because a lot of them are small businesses, to support them by either attending their events, driving people toward their way, or just letting people know about all these great groups that are in our area. It's always community first. In addition to the basic fundamentals, you have to consistently like learn and tweak a little bit, like things about a contract or rules and regulations. So it's, yes, also building those into my business, but it's super important to keep community in mind and keep my values of hard work, honesty, integrity built into my business. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn more about me and why I became a realtor. I so appreciate all the time that you took. Now, if you wouldn't mind staying tuned for a video I had created for Farmington Play, it's gonna be housed in its own section on my YouTube, showing our local area and surrounding areas, how Farmington works and plays. Thank you again. Please don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe to my channel so you can be notified of new content. Thanks, have a good day.